Antonio Ola Buchanan with Texas. I got two things for you. First of all, kind of what we just asked Anais from a player's perspective, uh, why would y'all think y'all would be better than you were last year? And then secondly, what position do you want to play? Because we hear you may be nickel or maybe corner, maybe at safety. Where would, where do you want to play? Um, kind of like what Anais just said, um, you know what I'm saying? We have a lot of good leaders this year. Um, the, the team itself just feel like more of a brotherhood. Um, and for myself, it, I really don't, it really don't matter to me. Like, wherever coach wants me to play, I play but whichever position helped my team win. That's what I'm here for. Right, we'll go fourth row on the right. Antonio David Nunez, Tech Sags as well. Do you like the uh, blend that you guys have of youth slash uh, veterans? You've got guys who've played a lot, but some who have been waiting their turn. Yes, sir. Um, one, I feel like it helped build character. You know, um, you have a lot of guys that come from being top dog at their schools, come in and not playing right away. It helped build character. And also they get to learn from the veterans in front of them as well as um, improve their game. So I feel like now it just built the hunger in them. And when they get the opportunity, which they get this year, they get to expose everything that, you know, just bring out all that frustration and just play the game. We'll go over there, third row to the left. Robert Sess, the Bryan College Station Eagle. Why is the secondary going to be uh, different this year? And is, is any changes with the new defensive coordinator? Um, I don't think it would be di – well, different, yes, because – I feel like it's the most experienced group on the defense. And whenever you have a good experience um, secondary, it's normally pretty good. And the um, coaches, they both, you know, coming from Coach Elko to Coach Durkin, they, you know, great defensive coordinators. They just have their differences. We're just going to go here to the front row on the right. Cole Thompson, AllAggies.com. Antonio, Throughout your career, you've slowly developed into being a rotational player to a starter to a full-time starter to now you are the face of this new defense underneath DJ and one of the biggest polarizing names in the SEC. Does that make you hold yourself to a certain standard throughout practice, not just as a leadership but also internally for your own personal goals? Um, Not so much for my personal goals, more for my team. To, uh, when, you, when you have younger guys – and older guys um, looking at you for answers or just, like, for guidance, I feel like you have to hold yourself to a different standard. Um, and, like I said, not for my personal, more for my team, though. I got to do what I got to do to help them either work harder or look at me and be like, okay, he's going 100%. Even if it's a walkthrough, then they have to go 100%. We go front row on the left. Antonio Zang, Taylor, WTAW. Speaking about some of those young guys, you were in their shoes uh, not that long ago, and I know y'all had a lot of early enrollees from last spring, but here in the fall, what's what are some important things that they need to learn uh, either today or just these first couple of weeks? What's what's the mentality? What's the kind of mindset they need to bring? Um, I would say just being able to fight through adversity. Um, during fall camp, it's a hard time. It's going to be some days where you don't feel like doing it or some days where your body don't feel good. And I feel like that helped us prepare for the season when we're going through this SEC road. It's going to be some games or some weeks where either you nick them bruise or you might not be in a certain package this week due to personnel of another team and just help you like mentally get prepared for the season. We'll go all the way to the back on the right, and then we'll go to Daryl. Antonio, Justin Wooder, KXTV here in College Station. Uh, Secondary-wise interceptions, can you speak about how big turnovers can be for you guys? You got your ball. I know an Ole Miss game sticks out to me, jumped and, and knocked one down and should have had it. Mm -hmm. uh, just <laughs> – no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of getting your hands on them this year, bringing them down and, and changing the game with, with interception, can you speak on how big that would be for you know guys as a secondary? Oh, yeah, um – I feel like that's just an emphasis that within the players on the defense, we we um, harped on a lot, just being able to be more disruptive around the ball in general, if that's interceptions, forced fumbles. Um, I feel like that's somewhere we kind of liked that last year. Um, 
But that's something that we're trying to improve this season, for sure. We're going to stay in the back all the way to the left. Antonio Daryl Bruffett from KBTX. Can you, uh, first off, can you let me know, do you have any NIL deals that are out there right now? Who you're representing, maybe? Uh, not, not currently. I mean, okay. I, I had a few during the season, kind of how nice it was, but not currently. I got you. My question to you then is, can you just talk about the level of excitement that the team has as you guys get ready to get back on the practice field this afternoon? Uh, yeah, you can most definitely feel the energy within the locker room. Uh, for some guys, it's their fourth, going on fourth um, spring. Not fall camp, I'm sorry, I'm so messed up. Fall camp, but then some guys is at first, so you have experience and unexperienced, so you got, like, the mixed emotions of um, nervous and excitement, I guess you could say. We got time for a couple more. We'll stay here in the front row. Antonio, you were talking about a point of emphasis. Now that with new defense coordinator DJ Durkin, is he saying that there's a different point of emphasis that he's trying to get you guys to maybe go after that Mike wasn't preaching last year? And are there any similarities between the two in their style of coaching and also with their overall points of what they're trying to get across to you guys? Oh, no. Um, Coach Elko most definitely preached the ball. I feel like it's more of a player-led thing this year. Um, we, we see the emphasis and we know the – how important it is to get the ball. The game is about the ball. Coach Jumbo always preached that. And last year when we had opportunities, some of them we made, but for the most, like some we didn't make. And I feel like we, we look over the season, we look at the film, and those times we didn't make the play kind of hunted us in the end. And um, we don't want that to happen again as players. So that's why we've been so um, hard on getting the ball. And... Coach, like I said earlier, Coach Elko and Coach Durkin, great defensive coordinators, great guys. They just have their differences. And um, and if you watch, you'll see the differences. It's nothing too crazy, though. We'll go to the left, third row, Cease, and then we'll go to Daryl. Uh, what does Anaya Smith mean or bring to this team? He's a leader. He's on uh, offense. I feel like he's that guy where – he would be whoever he needs to be. That's the best way I could put it. If that's, it, it just shows his versatility. Like, if that's in a backfield, out wide, whatever you need him to do, he can do punt return, kickoff return. He, he's just a leader overall, and a lot of people look up to him because of how he played and just how who he is as a person. We'll go to the back on the left. Antonio Anias talked about the fact that he was looking at this season as vengeance. Is, is that the same kind of approach that the rest of the team has? And can you c explain that a little bit? Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Yes, Anias is talking about the fact that with the way that last season finished up, that this is a vengeance kind of season okay. for him to get things right. Can you talk about is that the way the whole team is approaching this and what your thoughts are on that? Um, for sure. Uh, we didn't end the season how we wanted to. Um, we let a few games get away from us. And I don't feel like anyone in the locker room want to go through that same season again. So we're keeping that in our conscience of how the season went and we're working. That's how, I feel like that's our motivation. We don't The feeling that we had at the end of the season is not what we want to have again. So everybody's working hard. I appreciate it, Antonio. I appreciate you. Thank you.